Hi, I'm Tim, and this is just a quick overview of the new features of Prezi Dynamic and how to customize it. So it works for Mac offline, for PC offline, and there is an online version for blogs and websites. So I'm just going to use the, the PC version to demonstrate. Um, so you simply download this. There are demos to download, and you copy the contents of the application into your expanded Prezi folder. Um, so if you've downloaded it from Prezi's website or if you've exported it as a, a portable Prezi from the desktop version, you just copy these, uh, these files in. Um, let me just uh, start this up. So I've obscured the preloader text and the countdown timer. I can show you how to adjust those, both color and time, and the background color as well. Um, but the new feature is um, a drop-down menu that allows you to navigate to any part of your Prezi. Now, I've only got a small one here. It's only 16 path points. But if you go on the website, there's actually one for 370. So it's, uh, it's scalable. Um, and there's a new search feature. So basically, um, if I just go and navigate through my Prezi, as you normally would, find there's path point two, path point three, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you want to jump to a specific part, you can just mouse over the drop down menu, and we can go to path point 10. And I'll show you how you can adjust the, uh, if you like, the text that's shown on each menu link. Um, and it scales, so if you've got many, many more than the, the, the visible buttons here, uh, you can just move your mouse and it will scale automatically and move. Uh, let's go to path point 15. Okay, so uh, one of the new features is the search function. So um, we can say there's a link with the word names in it. So what I can do is put names, and you'll see that basically only that link is shown. So if you've got a very large Prezi, you can just type the word in the, in the first line of the text, and it will just render those links um, with that word in the first part of the, uh, the text so that you can find the point you want more quickly. And there you can go. So uh, what we can do is show you how to adjust a whole bunch of different things. So one is the text here. It currently says, let me just get rid of that, custom drop-down menu text. You can change that. You can also change how many buttons are visible on the drop-down function. Um, and you can change all the colors for the menu and the preloader. So let me just close that down for a second. And what you need to do is go to our website. If you go to Prezi Dynamic, <clears throat> if you go to Dynamic Config Form, this is where you can basically adjust all those parameters. So the first thing you need to do uh, is either create a new one or upload an existing one. So I just need to go and find the one I want. So let me just upload this. There we are. So let's do some things first. Uh, let's change the drop-down menu color from pink, which isn't very good. Let's change that to blue. Let's change the mouse over color to orange. And let's change the menu text color to white. Um, we'll leave the background preloader color that. Uh, let's change the preloader text to world. Uh, now we can change the color of the text that's shown. So let's change that to white. Let's change the countdown color to black. Obviously, you can brand this the way you want it for your customer, but you can make each one different. So the drop-down menu uh, header, this was previously fixed, so you can then change it. Um, text here. Uh, and you can adjust the countdown in seconds. So let's make that five. And let's make the number of visible buttons 15. And let's also change something here. Let's change names to boo. Just, I don't know why. Anyway, so you've made some changes, and you can obviously add hyperlink buttons and delete them. And although this is shown as they are shown in Prezi, you know, 
one through 16 in this case, you know, you don't need to have everyone. It could just be a very large Prezi with key path points, you know, 100 path points and only 20 visible as links because those are the key ones you want to navigate to. So you don't have to have them necessarily in order. You can basically adjust which path point they navigate to quite quickly by just going in and changing it. But I won't do that now. So once you've done it, you just download it. Save that. And then you just need to go and copy, cut it, and then just go and overwrite the existing one. Yay. So there we have it. Now let's just go back and see what that looks like. So there we have it. It's white preloader, uh, countdown timer, and you will see that the, uh, the menu item, the text is changed on the header. And each of the links is also changed, and there's boo. Um, and you can go back to that path point, go back to the start, or we can just type in boo, and there it is. So that's how you configure it. Um, and that's what it looks like. And as I say, the countdown time and the text shown here can be defined as well, plus the background color. And that's it. I hope it's useful. Thanks very much.